All right, guys. So, because I can't help myself, I decided to decided to take the DV head chunk and fiddle with valve job angles on it. Now, why would I do that? DV gave me a specific valve job he wanted to use, and because uh, I'm a pain. I totally disregard what DV says and I do my own design and then I find out whether I'm right or I'm wrong. Well, it seems DV's right with these. Now I'm not going to give you the specs on his, his valve job because that's his, uh, that's his gig, but I will tell you it's not his old 30 design and it's not a 45 design. What I decided to do was because I took a good look at this port design and, you know, considering what it is and the tulip valve design, I thought a steeper angle would work better. Let's find out if it did or not. Okay, these flows are, I cut the intake and the exhaust for a nice 50 degree. Now I think the 50 degree is an interesting an interesting design, right? What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to knock back your your low lift flow a little bit. That way when you're going with a really big cam and higher RPM, it cuts back on your overlap a little bit. I could totally see where uh, where that's coming from. Now, all of these pluses and minuses here are in reference to DV's valve job that I originally had on there. So, if we take a look down, it's a complete loser. I know it surprised me. And it took a decent hit. If you want uh, the numbers beforehand, uh, I posted them before. I couldn't find the sheet, but it's around. Notice what it did with the swirl. You would think the deeper, the deeper valve job would cut back on swirl. It did the opposite. It kicked up the swirl. Okay. Uh, so, you know, that's why you got to test, guys. You got to test because it's the only way to find out what the design likes and what it doesn't like. Now, take a look at the exhaust. Minus equals minus minus with noise minus 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 two pluses minus 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 everywhere. Doesn't even like it on the exhaust. I really thought it would like it on the exhaust. And you know, if it worked out that I could have used DV's valve angle on the intake and a 50 on the exhaust and gotten gains, I would have done that. Now let's take a look at our air speeds and try to figure out what's up. I didn't do the pluses and minuses, and I'd have to find that old sheet. Let me see if I can find that other sheet. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what happened here. Got a little more airspeed on the top, but it was just a tiny bit. Exactly the same, and this changed by one. So the pinch really didn't change much, because the pinch is bigger than it needs to be for this much flow. Remember, we're only maxing out. 600 to 224. Not good. Not even anywhere remotely close to where we need to be. And this is the DV chunk, so I was doing better than that before. Okay, what happened here? This went up by one. This got a huge kickback. Okay. And as far as the short side, the short side got faster everywhere. Made for a much more unhappy port. All right, how about the exhaust? Ouch. Minus, 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 minus. Two pluses and one minus. It hated it. Absolutely hated it. Okay, so what do you do at that point? You've already got a 50 on it. You cut it back for DV's angles over the 50s. But when you do it, you don't make the angles 
deep, deep enough to only have three angles. So you kind of have a valve job on top of a valve job. Makes it a little bit more like a radius. Now some guys are going to say, hey, you can't have a radius on an intake. Well, it's not a complete radius. And DV will argue with you that he has high-speed photography that shows you can have a radius on an intake if your fuel is prepped correctly. Okay? Now, remember, we're, gonna, we're stuck with the little two-barrel on this for the first couple runs. I don't know how good a job they're going to get at prepping the fuel. I, if I was... I mean, I, I know DV well enough. He's probably going to put a... a a much different design booster in there and it'll probably work really well okay we're gonna move on okay so this is the DV valve job over the 50 take a look now these are in references to what we had on the straight 50 plus 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 everywhere except the very top and the top we only lost two tenths Okay, the swirl curve is a lot better too. So it likes the better than, uh, I should say, lower than 45 degree seat on this port. And you got to think about the theory of that. Let me grab that chunk and I'll show you. All right, let me see if I can explain this. Now, remember, air is, is like me, extremely lazy, right? It wants to go the straightest, shortest, least resistant path possible. So if you take a look at how our port is designed, let me uh, just color that in a little bit. Okay, the pen over the, the tape doesn't work that great. I have to use tape on it because I had to fill these holes so I could get a, a good vacuum on this. This is where this is the head that DV drilled holes in. So if you take a look, right, we're coming in the port relatively towards the top going across the very top of the short side and pretty close to the center of the port all the way out near the plug okay and my divider is ground into the guide in the same direction now the air is going one direction the fuel is staying straighter as you can see okay I mean I have junk in the way now, but you can see we're starting to get a little fuel on the other side. As far as our, our splatter on the chamber, I think this is the best we've done with this head to date, which is the DV valve job over the 50. I don't know if I can zoom in enough to show you how much of a mess the, the valve job is. but It literally is one valve job over another valve job. And you can still see there's a tiny bit of the 50s in there. I'm not sure if that helps. I put a little blue over it. Yeah, can't really see it. You know, if you guys would just break down and buy me a decent seat and guide machine you know sheesh I can't believe it I'm kidding guys it's uh, it's gonna get here someday it will happen someday I'll get myself a, a seat and guide machine that I can actually fit in the space where I have and the power that I have all right okay the original the original idea of this uh, quick demo here with the stick is a shallower valve angle can make it easier for it to get air around the valve if the port is designed with a low enough short side radius. Now, I'm not a huge fan of just knocking down the short side radius because I like the mid-range mid -range flows. So I'm stuck at the point where I get my short side as wide and as laid back as I need to to get the air speeds I want and flows towards the mid-range 
and then I can fiddle with the seat and see if I can finalize it. Is that the best type? Is that the best setup? Who knows? You know, there's more than one ways to skin a cat, guys. And uh, unfortunately, the way my brain operates, I have to do, I have to research a bunch of different uh, avenues before I come up with a game plan. That's why a spare head on a development or a junk head is really good for me, because I can figure all this stuff out on the junk head and then finally get a good design and then put it into the good heads. Okay, so let's see if the port liked it. I'll be honest, guys, I don't even know if I went over this already. I think I went over the intakes, which are all good. The swirl was good. How about the exhaust? Well, it's hit or miss, but we're definitely topping out way better. I mean, it literally, that little tiny port, it's true, it's 800 lift, but it's cracking 200 with a 1.5 valve. That's not bad. Okay? Take a look at our air speeds. What happened to them? Plus equals plus. Way up plus. This one took a step back, right? But they're more even than they were. Plus minus plus. Okay, overall a happier intake port. Is it where we need it to be? No, it's still not. Is it less than last time I posted this port? It may have been, but it was also 84 degrees. So that needs to be figured in. Now take a look at how much happier the exhaust port is with the lower, lower degree valve seat. Plus, 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 minus, plus, plus. Relatively even. Look at how even that center is. The center of that port is absolutely banging. The bottom center is not completely dead. Look how even it is side to side. Okay? A lot of the efficiency comes from that, guys. All right, so, yeah, how long am I going to goof around with this head chunk? As long as it takes. You know why? Because I can. Why? It's my time. Why? It's something I want to do. Why? Because I'm learning along the way, and believe me, I need to learn. You know, I know a lot of guys on the internet know everything there is to know. I am not one of those guys. Sorry. Wish I was. Believe me, I wish I was. But that's why I like uh, being able to call up DV and, uh, <laughs> and we can talk and it's always a good time. And by the way, I'm really enjoying this project. I don't really care how long it takes. And you know what? It works out to my advantage that I got a head start on on doing these did the 302s I learned a lot on the 302 heads and uh, we're going to get to the point soon where I won't have any uh, any videos on this because I'll be knocking out all those ports alright guys let me think almost forgot the bore again this is by far the best action we've had on the bore okay and I would say that's got to be that's got to be some power right there if you disagree let me know in the comments I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me uh, going through this project step by step I'm hoping you hoping you like it and uh, thanks for hanging out have a good night guys